hi guys so welcome back so in this video we are going to see how we can verify a signature in the smart contract in the solidity smart contract so basically um, in this video we are going to see how we can sign a message using backend or maybe using frontend using metamask but right now in this video i'm going to um, i'm going to show how we can sign the message in the backend and then we are going to create a smart contract which is going to take the hash message the signer and the signature contents and then it is going to um, see if the signer is the exact signer is the actual signer who signed the message or not and then it is going to return a bool uh, whether a signature is verified or not so first of all we are going to uh, start the hard hat project yeah and uh, okay let's go and delete this Oh, it's taking a lot of time and let's create verify signature dot sol uh, I have already created these environmental variables and uh, I have installed these modules which we will be needing in this code so yeah you can just uh, do npm install and these modules and um, you it will get installed so first of all let, let's forget it let's start coding pragma solidity 0 0.8.0 contract verify signature there will be a function verify which is going to take the address of the signer who signed the message bytes 32 of eth signed message hash which we are going to calculate in the back end and then there are three variables which we are going to extract from the private uh, <coughs> sorry from the signed message and the function is public pure returns it's going to return a bool either a signature is valid or not we can say address expected signer is equals to ec recover this is uh, a function in solidity which is going to recover the signer from the signed message so we can we can simply pass this uh, eth sign message hash and actually they um, uh, we have we will create a signature in the back end in index.js and we are going to extract these three parameters from the signature and we are going to send it uh, to this smart contract and then we can see uh, uh, if address which we are going to send in this function is the same address which we and uh, it's bytes 32 not bytes okay vrs and it's unsigned int 8 okay and another is we are going to return a bool we can say expected signer is equals to is equals to underscore signer so our expected signer so our smart contract is ready now we can create index.js file here and we we can start writing our backend code so we can just start with const ethers is equals to require ethers require dot env dot config we can say const api underscore url is equals to process dot env dot api underscore url which we are going to graph from the environment variables file 
const private key is equals to process dot env dot private key uh, const contract address is equals to process dot env dot contract address which we are going to define in the environmental where environment variable file then we can okay for the abi let's first npx hard hat run dash dash network volta scripts and deploy dot js so let's copy this go to the deploy script delete this delete this delete the constructor from the previous smart contract we can just copy it here copy it here let's create underscore and let's do this and then we can await underscore dot deployed and then we can say dot address and we can just remove this instead of this we can say contract address i hope it works um yes and also in the hard hat config.js we we need the configuration file so i'm going to copy it from my previous code which i have created so uh, now we can oh, not this dash dash network volta scripts deploy dot js let's see if it works oh yeah and we can create a variable contract address is equals to this and we can define the contract address here okay so now we can say require dot slash artifacts slash contract slash slash verify slash so it's going to grab the api from the json file then we need to define a provider new ethers dot providers dot json rpc and we are going to provide url why i prefer energy web chain uh, over the ethereum testnet is they are all same because they are all evm based blockchains but here i just need to provide the api url and i can communicate with the blockchain network but in those i have to go to alchemy or infura or quick node and get the api and then configure so i feel it's easier to just test the smart contracts like this with the api url so that's why i always use volta testnet in my uh, code then we are going to create signer is equals to new ethers dot wallet we are going to pass private key and provider then we are going to say contract instance is equals to new ethers contract first contract address abi and signer who is going to use this contract let's define a message hello and let hash is equals to ethers dot utils dot kcheck 256 and then we are going to use uh, ethers dot utils dot solidity solidity pack and we are going to say it's a string message 
so that's how you are going to calculate the hash and it is actually a variant of uh, variant of abi dot encode packed function in solidity so you can use this to create a hash of the message and this solidity pack it's it tells that okay it's a string which we want to sign and this is the actual string message hello and uh, let's create a function it's going to be a sync function it's an arrow function sorry I forgot and we can say con signature is equal to await signer dot sign message we can uh, use ethers dot utils dot arrayify and then we can pass the hash which we have created before and another thing is ethereum hash is um, according to ethereum network we have to uh, append a string in front of the hash to make it ethereum uh, network based hash so we are going to use the same uh, same thing here dot solidity pack string and message uh, no it's we are going to say uh, it's string and bytes 32 because our hash is bytes 32 and uh, we want to append a string so we can append a string of slash x 19 ethereum signed message slash n 32 and we can pass hash so we are going to we are going to append this string in front of the hash and then we are going to calculate the hash again so this this is how you represent the hash in ethereum network so we did this and then we can console.log we can say signer address and we can put signer dot address and then if you remember in the signature we need these three variables so we can create these variables ethers dot utils dot split signature so these are ether utilities and you can use this split signature function and you can use sig in order to uh, s get these functions and we can select bool is equals to await contract instance dot we have just one function and we are going to send signer dot address we are going to send it the h hash and r s and v uh, let's confirm r s and v yeah so we are sending it in the right um, order and then we can say console dot log sign signer matched and we can say bool so now our file is ready so let's run this file node index.js oh oh man i i didn't run the function yeah so you see uh, this is the signer address which signed the message here because we created this signer here and then we uh, send it and the sign message is true so the smart contract said that okay this is the exact same signer so let's try and uh, 
get some other account like this so instead of signer dot address we are going to paste this account and the smart contract said signer matched false let's do this again signer dot address okay so that's how we actually verify the signature in solidity smart contract so what we have done is we have created first of all we like uh, got the environment variables we created provider signer and now this signer has an attribute private key and we defined a message we create the hash of the message and then we created the signature of the hash and then we uh, created an ethereum based hash because you cannot directly send this hash in the smart contract to verify because in ethereum uh, hash hashes are calculated like this you have to append this string in front of the hash and use catch act to 56 hash to create another hash and this hash we have sent it in the smart contract to verify along with the rsv parameters we got from the signature and um, then we stored a bool that to verify if the sign ad address is the same who signed the message or not so uh, that's how you are going to um, verify a signature in the smart contract so i'm going to upload this code on github and you can take this and maybe you can use it in your project so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video bye bye